Prince Philip, the longest serving royal consort in British history and a constant presence at Queen Elizabeth's side for decades, died today aged 99, Buckingham Palace announced. The death of the Duke of Edinburgh is a profound loss for the 94-year-old monarch who once described him as her strength and stay all these years. The outspoken former Navy commander devoted much of his life as the Queen's husband and to charity work. He was admitted to hospital on February 16th and went home after a month, during which he was treated for a pre-existing heart condition and an infection. Announcing his passing, BBC Television played the national anthem over a picture of Philip in his prime, dressed in military uniform. Flags were lowered to half-mast on royal and government buildings and a notice announcing his death pinned to the gates of Buckingham Palace. We give thanks as a nation and a kingdom for the extraordinary life and work of Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, Prime Minister Boris Johnson said outside 10 Downing Street. Johnson said Philip had earned the affection of generations at home, in the Commonwealth and across the world after first serving in the Royal Navy and then over nearly eight decades beside the Queen. As India continues to grapple with the second wave of coronavirus, it has been reported that states with maximum number of COVID cases have run out of COVID vaccines. Amid rise in new coronavirus cases, many states including Maharashtra, Delhi, Orissa, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh and Punjab have reported vaccine shortage in several COVID centres even as centre denied the claim. India registered over 1.31 lakh COVID cases in just 24 hours on Thursday. Maharashtra continues to be the pandemic's epicentre in India and the worst hit state with 56,286 cases recorded yesterday. Amid the surge in COVID cases, experts and doctors are emphasising on the need for vaccination. In the second wave of COVID, what has become a major cause of worry for the government and doctors is the fact that the young people are getting more infected. As a precautionary move, the government decided to allow vaccination for all those above 45 years. Maharashtra Chief Minister Udhav Thakre wrote a letter to Prime Minister Narendra Modi to permit all above the age of 25 to be vaccinated. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi in a letter to the Prime Minister today said, the government must allow COVID-19 vaccination to everyone who needs it and immediately suspend exports of the dose. The efforts of the scientific community and vaccine makers had been undermined by the centre's poor implementation and oversight, said Gandhi, referring to alleged shortage of doses in some states. Gandhi asked Modi to allow state governments greater say in vaccine procurement and distribution as he asked the government to explain why it exported 60 million doses when there is a shortage in India. India registered a record single-day spike of 1,31,968 new COVID-19 cases today, pushing its infection tally to 1 crore 30 lakh 60,542. The death toll increased to 1,67,642 with 780 with more fatalities in a day. Highest since October 18th, data from the Union Health Ministry showed. Scores of places vaccinating people against COVID-19 are running out of doses in Mumbai, reported news agency PTI. At least 75 centres, mostly at private hospitals, suspended vaccination this morning. An inquiry has been ordered in the shocking incident in which three women were allegedly administered anti-rabies injections instead of COVID vaccine at a government hospital in Shamli district in Uttar Pradesh. Three women, Saroj, 70 years, Anarkali, 72, and Satyavati, 60 years, had gone to the government community health centre in Kandla yesterday to get vaccinated against the coronavirus. After the vaccination, the women were handed anti-rabies vaccine slips, which led to a protest by their family members at the facility. The condition of Saroj began to worsen and she complained of nausea. Her family members took her to a private doctor who was aghast to see that she had been given the anti-rabies vaccine instead of COVID vaccine. The families have lodged a complaint with the chief medical officer Sanjay Agarwal. 
Brijendra Singh, in charge of health centre, had said that an inquiry would be conducted into the incident. He said that strict action will also be taken against those found guilty.